Hey, Castleton Christian Church. Once again, I'm sitting in my car, and once again, I'm going to invite you to bring yours here to 7214 Hague Road this Sunday morning, 10 a.m. This is our week two of doing Drive in Church. Last week, we had our first week. We prayed, God, would you please, would you please hold off the rain? Would you please have people show up? I mean, you never know what's going to happen, and God did both those things. I want you to know it was a great day, and we're still talking about it. Uh, we have pictures and video and all these things, but the truth was it was so good to see one another. It was so good to see the church come together and people be excited to see one another. And with all that said, I want to remind you, we need you to stay in on or around your car when you come here to Castleton. I know you're going to see people milling around. Some of those people are parking lot people. Some of those people are worship team people. Uh, but we are going to strongly encourage you stay in, on, or around your car. That'll be your perimeter. That's where you can stay. If you want to bring lawn chairs or whatever, a blanket to, to make it more comfortable, absolutely you can do that. Um, I want you to know, again, we're going to do worship. We're going to do communion. We're going to have a time of, of study through Ruth still, and we're going to um, have tithes and offerings. So typical worship service. There's a few things I want to remind you of and strongly encourage you. Number one, in, on, or around your vehicle. Again, I know you're going to see people and stuff, but please, if you love them, you'll leave them alone. Um, wave at them, text them, Facebook them, whatever. Number two, I want to remind you, the building is closed. I know that's tough on little ones. I know that's tough on some of y'all. Uh, but the building is closed. Uh, we are trying to do our best to uh, not only enforce, but abide by social distancing guidelines. I know it's not ideal. And I know uh, it can make some people nervous when you go somewhere knowing I can't use the restroom for a while. But uh, please adhere to that as well. And lastly, and, and maybe most importantly of all that, um, I would never want you to be in a situation where you feel like you have to compromise your health, ever. So if you come here and you want to wear a mask, absolutely wear a mask. However, if you come here and you don't want to wear a mask, don't wear a mask, especially if you're staying in on and around your vehicle. Once you get here and you look around and say, wow, there's more people than I thought. There's a lot of you know, stuff going on. Hey, hop back in your car. We are going to um, have the service streaming on Facebook. So if you want to get in your car, you can see it there. But we also have a radio signal that you can listen to it in your vehicle. When you get here that day, uh, we'll inform you of that radio station so you can turn your dial there and you can get everything inside that we are hearing outside. So you, you can certainly do that. And, and last part of that is if you say, yeah, I'm still not certain about all those things, then worship with us online. Worship with us on Facebook. Uh, make sure you jump in there, leave some comments. It's always encouraging to see uh, our people, invite other people to be a part of that conversation. So um, at the end of all that, again, I would never want you to compromise your health or to be in a situation where you felt like you could potentially compromise the health of someone else. But with all that said, all we want to do is praise and worship Jesus. Amen. He has done so much for us. God has been so good, uh, not only to us as a church, but as a uh, church bodies made up as we talk about each individual address. God is telling a great story through uh, the small groups that have happened. He's telling a great story through uh, the people who've gone to each other's houses to, to bring stuff or to encourage one another, the phone calls, the text messages, etc. cetera. And uh, we, we just hope and pray that that continues. And we look forward to worshiping with you this Sunday 10 a.m., 7214 Hague Road. Bring an umbrella, a chair, whatever you need to bring. And uh, let's praise a living God. Amen. I'll talk to you in a little bit.